Hi, this is Tech Support by RD, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the SD memory card formatter software from the SD Association to format your memory card. Now, you can install the software by going to www.sdcard.org slash downloads slash formatter. Um, and then you can scroll down the page and you can find the download links at the bottom of the page. Um, I'm going to assume that you have already installed this software on your computer. So once it's installed, you can find it in your start menu. And if you scroll down, you will find the SD Association folder, SD Card Formatter. Once you open it, you will be asked if you are an administrator. So click yes if you are an admin. Or if you are not an administrator, ask someone who's an admin to provide their password or PIN or, how, or authenticate and ask whatever the case may be. So I've authenticated and I will get this dialog box. Um, now... Go ahead and insert your SD card into the card slot of your computer if your particular laptop, desktop, or device has a built-in SD card slot. If your um, device does not have an SD card slot, like the desktop that I'm using right now, um, you might want to use an, a USB card reader. You insert the card in the reader, then plug the reader into your USB into the USB port of your computer. So let me just um, find the USB port on this particular um, system. That is, if I can manage to insert it blind without, you know, having to reverse the connector. There we go. And automatically, we, it found the card that I inserted. So before we proceed, we need to check that we do not have any files that are stored on the computer, um, that on the card router. So we go to the whichever card we inserted, drive G. In this case, this card is empty, so we have nothing to save. But if there's any files in the card, now is a good time to back them up. Back them up to somewhere safe, especially if this is a memory card for your camera. Back them up somewhere safe. Then close. And then, once, you, um, once you're back, SD card formatter, you can select the card you wish to format. If you're not sure if the core card list there is the correct one, you can refresh the list. Um, list, and you can also open um, File Explorer to confirm that you're working with the right drive. So in my system, um, the card reader I connected has two slots, so drive E is blank because there's nothing connected, but drive G has a 32 gig card inserted. So we are on the right card, and there's nothing important on the drive. Um, we get two options to format our card. A quick format is basically going to prepare your card um, in a way that makes it work with SD card compatible devices almost immediately. Whereas the overwrite format is just like a quick format, except that it will overwrite the entire card um, with zeros, I believe, in order or blank data so that everything on the files, all the files on the card will not only be erased, but they will also be irrecoverable by recovery application. So use overwrite format if you are if you really want everything on the card to be gone. However, a quick format is what's it's quicker, takes a few seconds, and um, allows you to get use your card right away. However, an overwrite format is if you have any some if you're giving the card away to someone else or if you're giving it to someone else and you want to be absolutely sure that no one else can be able to recover the files you deleted. Now, a little bit of a reminder, whatever, so, um, whatever option you select here, the end result is going to be the same. Your files will be deleted. So once you're certain that you've backed them up, hit format, you'll be given a final warning. So click yes to confirm. Okay, after a few moments, you will see this message. Formatting was successfully completed. It tells us that the file system and the cluster size, volume label, and all other information. At this point, you can close the SD card formatter and eject your card. Okay, I've ejected it. It's no longer listed, so I'll pull it out. And we're done. So if if you're learning, if you want to learn how to format a card, um, I guess that's it. So you can end wa um, stop watching this video. But if you want a little bit, um, some more final advice for me, um, you can stay. So a little bit of an advice: we use the SD card formatter instead of you know other programs like Rufus, which I showed in my last video, when we are formatting SD cards. 
because um, the SD card formatter is created by the SD association. They're the guys responsible for creating the standards used by these memory cards and ensuring that memory cards, the SD memory cards, work with devices that are designed to use these kinds of cards. Um, so it's for compatibility purpose, purposes. That means once you take in a memory card that you formatted with this tool, you should be able to use it with almost every single device that, that accepts this kind of card. Um, a little bit of a caveat here. Um, if your device, especially cameras, have a built-in function to format the memory card, or I think in Canon cameras you can do something called a low-level format, I recommend that you do the formatting for your memory card in your device rather than using the SD card formatter. However, in the case if your device does not recognize the memory card you just inserted, you can use the SD card formatter tool that we have here in order to initialize your card in a known good compatible state. And you can try again with the device you're having to see if it's able to recognize the card properly. Um, once that's done, go ahead and format, whenever you can, format the card in the device that you're going to use the card with, if you are able to format the card on that device. This is especially the case for cameras, um, um, video recorders, vi um, um, film cameras that accept SD cards, um, format them in device um, if you can, because if you don't, there's a relatively small chance that there could be a slight incompatibility um, in with regards to the particular way that device interacts with the card. However, if for some reason your device is failing to recognize your card, you can try using the software here, the SD card formatter program that we've just used to reformat your card first and then format it again in your particular device once you're confirmed that it's working again. So that's how to use the SD card formatter tool, um, how to format your memory card or your SD card router, and what to do if you have a device that allows you to format the card directly. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching.